Hello, I am here in Abercrombie, North Dakota at the Fort Abercrombie Historic Site. So let's go in and we'll take a little looky loop. Okay, we are in the museum here. It costs $8 to come in, but they have all these cool things. It also, um, the admission also gets you a free tour with a tour guide. So that's kind of cool. What do we got here? It's a story a little bit of Fort Abercrombie. They have chairs set up in here because they're going to have a concert at 2 o'clock. So that's kind of cool. They do a lot of different things in here. And I'll give you guys a few shots of some of the things they have going on this summer as well. Very cool. Oh, look at that old stove. Oh, it's pretty. Cast iron? Let's see. Yep, cast iron. Very nice. I like the detail on it. Or bunks. Oh, wow. Oh, Howard's there, so kind of a cannon little thing here. We got sabers and rifles. So they have all kinds of cool things to look at in here. And it goes through here. Oh, the siege of Fort, Fort Abercrombie. So that's really interesting. I'm going to come back here and really take a good look at some of these because this looks like some really fun things to learn about, something that's in our area. How come there's so many courts? Very cool. Like I said, they are setting up for a concert in here. So we'll just make our way through. CNT Warrior, interesting. Hi there. Hello. I'm just gonna sneak through here. I'm just kind of doing a looky loo real quick. Yeah. <clears throat> so they have all kinds of information in here about the area. All right. Here's our entrance area, which is really cool too. Okay. All right, thanks. Got an upstairs here. Oh, very nice. Oh, there looks like there's a lookout out here too. Looks like they do a little presentation up here at times. Let's go take a look at the lookout. Let's go look over the grounds here and we'll, we'll walk out over to the grounds here in a little bit as well. Oh, it's right off the river too, so that's really nice. The old fences and what they look like. Oh, it's big. It's a big grounds out here. So we're going to take a peek at all these buildings. They said that those are always open and you are able to come and take a look at them as you please. Which is really cool. Oh, I like this. Very nice. Oh my goodness, you can try on the old historic clothing, take pictures in it, that's cool. Then they have this touch table here as well with all the different things that are kind of period. Very cool. Anyway, that's the inside. They also have this little gift shop over here. So let's run through the little gift shop. So they have all these nifty things here. We got local things, books, looks like history, North Dakota history, which I'm gonna, I'm really interested in history. So I might bring myself back here and see what I can find.
souvenirs, t-shirts. Oh, they got some local jellies and syrups. So yeah, it's a really nifty little place. So I'm gonna go through here and do my looky loo thing and I will catch up with you guys when I hit outside. Okay guys, so I got a little history on this underground tunnel. Apparently while the Fort Abercrombie was under siege, they built this ditch so they could get water at night basically because during the day the Native Americans who held them under siege would shoot arrows at them as they were trying to get water so they built up the dug this ditch and put trees and branches over it so they could come down and get water. So let's walk down here. Oh, it's a pretty little walk. Oh, I wasn't expecting kind of any sort of hike today, but it's a really short one. I just would have wore different shoes is all. Oh, this is pretty. Looks like they have some trails that go off in different directions. Again, if I were to wear different shoes, I'd go over there, but I did not. Oh, and then they'd come down here and fetch water for the fort. This is the Red River. Nice and calm today. All right, guys, let's go back up and I'll catch you at the next site. Okay, Bill, this is really cool. This is a little miniature of the fort when it was in its prime here. I hope you guys can see this. It has a guardhouse. And they have this on like a float, so you must bring this around during the summer to different festivals, I bet. But this is really nifty. I was talking to the people who work here and you can tell everybody's passion is just on point. They're super friendly and they're very knowledgeable. So feel free to talk to them. I know I enjoyed my chat with them. So I would highly recommend you speak with them as well when you visit. Yeah, very, very cool. Out here they also have a covered wagon, which is nifty. I'm gonna hop up in there in a little bit and see what that's all about. This is really nice. You can see kind of the grounds from here a little bit. And, and we'll do some walking here and I'll hit you guys up at the different points. Okay, so from reading the signs here, I gather that these areas that are not mown are the sites of where the buildings were. Like this site right over here is or was where the stable was. So you can kind of see the dimensions of how big it was and the sign shows what it kind of looks like period where so i'm going to gather that all of these grown areas here are going to be sites of old buildings that are no longer around oh the river's pretty today all right you see that golf cart over there that is part of the free tour. And so you can get a tour guide and they'll take you around so you don't have to do all the walking and they'll explain everything to you. I like to do the looky loos myself. So I opted out of it, but that does come with your admission. So I just wanted to make sure you guys knew that that was an option. Okay, this is the guard house or kind of like the prison. I was told we can come in and take a look around. So let's hope that that is the case here. Oh, cool. Oh, very nice. This is really nifty. So they really do a nice job here at Fort Abercrombie. It gives you an idea of what this jail sales look like. And some of the items they used. Guard bed. Very cool. Yep, got a little 
privy in there, I might guess then. Or just individual cells for when things aren't going well, who knows. I bet if I would have taken the tour, they would have told me. Very cool. All right, guys. Catch you at the next spot. All right, guys. My camera is acting up a little bit, but I got her going here again. We got the ferry crossing over here, some more buildings, and about ready to cross over to the other side here and check out these other buildings. Looks like there's a crossing point over there. I'm gonna see if I need to go that way or if I can sneak through here and that way I can work. Just by make my way back. I think I can. Yes. Yes, I can. So we want to be careful when we're crossing the highway. Which is an important thing. So they put a highway right through the fort. But you know what? With the river right there, there I'm guessing there wasn't much of a choice. It's a nice highway. It's a small town. So should be able to get across fairly easily. All right. Another some more building site for the grass is there. Then I'm gonna keep this on while I walk over to this next corner site here. Guard houses or something, just of, because of where they're located in the corners here. Again, things I would know if I were taking the tour. Cool. It's dark in here, but yeah, it's definitely going to be like a washout tower. Good thing they have these air windows open. She gets hot out. It's going to be like 100 degrees today here, guys. So. And yes, for those not in North Dakota, born and raised here, yes, it gets to be 60 below wind chill and it gets to be 106 degrees at times in the summer. It's kind of a crazy place to live, but we are not all snow and ice all the time. Sometimes we're hotter than the bejesus. <laughs> this is cool. All right, I'm gonna turn this off so I can take a few pics and then I'll walk over to the other side. Guys, last building here. Let's take a look in here. Very similar to the other side. Yes, yeah, so and these definitely must be wash towers. Because these here talk about defending the fort. Palisades, those must be the, like some of the more original ones. Very cool. And then the upstairs again. And it's a little brighter on this side. Let's go up and turn around here. Very cool. I like it. So that was kind of a quick walkthrough of Fort Abercrombie. I'm really excited that I came. Like I said, I really do enjoy history. I am a firm believer that if you don't study history, the good, the bad, the ugly, and the great, heartwarming things, then you are doomed to repeat the same old things. So, I really do like these historic sites. But I got a lot more behind me, so I'm gonna shut this off. All right, I made it to the other side here, back to where we started here at the main building. They do a really good job here, guys. I am really impressed with the people who run it, the way that it's kept up. It's a really nice sight. However, be smarter than me and bring water if it's 100 degrees. So I'm gonna go back in here and hope, beyond hope, 
that they sell gigantic bottles of water. If not, I'm going to go find myself a gigantic bottle of water. So I will let you guys know where it is in a little bit. Okay, I just left Fort Abercrombie here in Abercrombie, North Dakota. It is a really nice historic site. Everybody in here is super knowledgeable and super friendly. I had a really nice chat with some of the ladies who work here. A uh, gentleman uh, answered a few of my questions and he was super knowledgeable. Nice little gift shop. Um, it's really a really nice site. I'm really happy I stopped out here. It is pretty darn cool. So, Fort Abercrombie is in Abercrombie, North Dakota. Um, the address really doesn't matter. I can give it to you, but it's, you know, you can't miss it. <laughs> so, it's right south of town. It is technically 935 Broadway North in Abercrombie. But Abercrombie's a pretty small town, guys. They are open daily from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And I highly suggest coming down here. It'd be a nice afternoon. However, if it's going to be 100 degrees like it is today, bring water. Be smarter than me. Thanks for coming along with me.